In this unit, you will learn words for furniture in a home. You will learn how to talk about things in a home. You will learn how to read a garage sale ad. You will learn how to use prepositions to talk about locations. For example, the stove is next to the sink. The sofa is under the window. Good evening, class. Good evening, Good evening Marcus. Marcus. Celia, did you find an apartment? Yes, a very nice one. That's wonderful. Have you moved in yet? No. First, I need to buy more things for my apartment. Then, Jing Li, Lana, and Jagra are going to help me moving. That's nice that you have friends to help you. Let's begin today's lesson by learning the names of things we find in a home. Maybe some of these things are what you need for your apartment, Celia. Oh, good. Please watch and listen. Sofa. Coffee table. Chair. Bookcase. Lamp. Television or TV. Plant. Painting. Curtains. Now that we know the names of things we have in a home, let's practice. This is a living room. We need to furnish it. What do we put in a living room? Luis. A sofa. Good idea. A sofa. Elena, what else do we need? A coffee table. Yes. A coffee table. It looks great. What else, Carmen? It needs a chair. Now we have a chair. What else, Lynn? A lamp. Good. A lamp. What else, Pablo? A bookcase for your books. Very good. A bookcase. Ying Li, any other suggestions? A plant. Great. A plant. Anything else? Lana. Curtains for the window. Excellent. Curtains. Shinjun, anything else? A painting. A painting for the wall. It looks very nice. Are we finished or do we need anything more? Jagrash. A TV. We need a TV. A TV. What a great living room. Bookcase. 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 Chair. 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 Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Curtains. 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 Lamp. 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 Plant. Painting. 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 Sofa. Sofa. Television. Look at the pictures and repeat after me. The stove is in the kitchen. The bed is in the bedroom. The sink is in the kitchen. The dresser is in the bedroom. 
the refrigerator is in the kitchen. The night table is in the bedroom. Bed, bed. Dresser, dresser. Night table, night table. Refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. Sink, sink. Stove, stove, stove. Does everyone like this living room? I don't like this living room. Okay, what do you want to change? The bookcase and the chair. I like the chair on the right. Okay, you like the chair next to the lamp, like this? Yes, the chair next to the lamp. Good job, Celia. Next to is a preposition. Let's learn about prepositions. The lamp is next to the chair. The chair is on the left. The bookcase is on the right. The coffee table is in front of the sofa. The lamp is in back of the sofa. The chair is in between the tables. The plant is on the table. The sofa is under the window. The window is above the sofa. Now let's practice using the prepositions. Shinjun, where's the plant? It's on the table. It's on the table, yes. Ying Li, where's the sofa? It's under the window. Very good, it's under the window. And where's the window, Lin? It's above the sofa. It's above the sofa, good job. Is the chair on the right or on the left? Elena? It's on the left. It's on the left. Good. Celia, is the bookcase on the right or on the left? It's on the right. It's on the right. Excellent job, everyone. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. For example, if I say, where is the lamp? You answer, it's on the table. Are you ready? Let's begin. Where's the TV? It's in front of the sofa. Where's the plant? It's in back of the chair. Where's the painting? It's above the sofa. Great job. Class, let's practice describing things we have in a home. What do you need for your new apartment, Celia? I need chairs. What kind of chairs? Uh, I don't know. Let's learn some ways to describe furniture. We have three chairs, a green one, a blue one, and a brown one. Celia, which one do you want for your new apartment? I want the blue one. Shagraj, how about you? Which one do you want? I want the brown one. Carmen, how about you? The green one. 
Okay, let's talk about TVs. We have three TVs, a big one, a medium one, a small one. Elena, which one do you want? I want the big one. I like to watch soccer on TV. Sounds like fun. Anyone else? I want the medium one. I want the small one. I don't like TV. <laughs> Good choices. How about stoves? Let's look. I see two stoves, an old one and a new one. Lynn, which one do you want? I want the old one. It looks like my grandmother's stove. I want the new one. I like to cook and I like to eat. Aww. Now let's look at some sofas. I have three sofas. One is in excellent condition. One is in good condition. And one is in bad condition. What do you think? Which one do you want? Carmen. I want the one in excellent condition. Does anyone want the one in poor condition? Okay, no one wants the one in poor condition. It doesn't look very comfortable. Let's look at some coffee tables. One is expensive, one is reasonable, and one is cheap. Lana, which one do you want? I want the expensive one. I like that one too. Good choice. Big, big. Medium, medium. Small, small, small. Old, old. New, new. Excellent condition, excellent condition. Poor condition, poor condition. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Reasonable, reasonable, reasonable. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We now know how to describe things in the home. Let's see what you remember. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. Which stove do you want? I want the new one. Which TV do you want? I want the big one. Which coffee table do you want? I want the expensive one. Excellent work. I need many things for my new apartment. I have an idea. We have to go shopping. Shopping? When? Where? How? I don't have a lot of money. Oh, there are many places we can go. There is a furniture store on Main Street. I know that store. It's very expensive. Expensive? Expensive means it costs a lot of money. But don't worry. There are other places we can buy furniture. You can look in the newspaper or go to garage sales. You can find sofas, lamps, refrigerators that are less expensive. They might be used, but they can still be good. Here is the newspaper. Ah, let's look. You'll be fine, Celia. It takes time to find the things you like, but everything will look great. Okay. Celia, what kind of chairs do you want for your apartment now? I want big chairs in good condition. Where can she buy chairs? 
Shop Russian. At the furniture store. You can buy furniture at a furniture store. Also, sometimes people sell their old furniture at a garage sale. You can find garage sales at people's homes. Let's visit one and see. Hmm, garage sale. Hmm. May I help you? Hi, I'm looking for some chairs. How much is this blue one? It's $35. Oh no, this chair is in excellent condition. It's $40. Can I buy the blue one and the orange one for $50? The orange one is old and it's in poor condition. I think $50 is reasonable for these two chairs. Okay, $50 for both. Congratulations, you have two new chairs. Thank you. Class, how much are the two chairs? Lana. The chairs are $50. Shinjun, is that a reasonable price? Yes, it is. Carmen, how is the blue chair? It's in excellent condition. And Lynn, how is the orange chair? It's in bad condition. Good work, everyone. So, Celia, are you going to go to a garage sale to look for furniture? Yes, I want to go to a garage sale this weekend. But how do I find a garage sale? You can find garage sales listed in your local newspaper and sometimes people put signs in the neighborhood with the address of a garage sale. Time to go. Use the English we've learned and good luck with your new apartment, Celia. Thank you. Here is the key to your new apartment. Thank you, Danny. And thank you for helping me move in. You're welcome, Celia. And if you need anything, I'm right upstairs. Please ask. Oh, Celia, what a nice apartment. How many rooms does it have? There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and this living room. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Now let's get to work. Oh, I like it. It's great. Come on, don't stand there. Let's go. We have two chairs and two lamps. You have a coffee table and a sofa. You have some pots and a television. Yes, you have a great apartment. It's my first apartment in the United States. I can't believe it. I'm very happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you too. You're so lucky. <laughs> Celia needs a lot of new things for her apartment. She doesn't have much money, so she shops at garage sales. She finds a lot of good furniture for reasonable prices. She buys two lamps, two chairs, a coffee table, a television, and a red sofa. She also buys some plants. We have a sofa, coffee table, chair, lamp, bookcase, a plant, curtains, a painting, and a TV.